Okay, hey everyone, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games. Today is October the 26th, 2014, and I'm in my car doing a video, uh, driving to a big city called Guangzhou. So I thought I would do a video, uh, maybe a couple of them whilst I'm on this trip. And uh, I'm driving, so I'm gonna have to place this down here. And hopefully this is still recording. Uh, yes, it is. Um, so, uh, yeah, because driving and Driving around China is a little bit uh, crazy sometimes. Uh, that's not what I'm talking about in this video. Uh, this is actually a personal video. This isn't a game development rate uh, related video. Uh, so if you're not interested in what I talk about personally, then you know switch off and check out one of the other videos. Uh, but I wanted to talk about buying houses uh, in China, or buying houses in general. So for the past eight years, basically I have uh, I rented. I rented for eight years since I've been in China, and I was renting for, you know, a year or so, uh, a few months before I, after I finished university and before I came to China, and also, obviously, renting through university as well for about three years. So, I, I've not put any money towards actually purchasing a house, and now it's just driving me a little bit crazy, and uh, I want to buy a house. Uh, obviously, renting is is flexible and. It allows you to move to different places a little more easily, but having to move every one year is such a pain in the ass, and it's it's a big uh, it's a big problem, and and also you know your money doesn't go towards the purchase of the house either. Now I could buy a house here in this town, Longjiang, where I am now. Uh, the I looked at the prices the other day, and it's a lot cheaper than Shanghai, way 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 cheaper. Uh, for example, I think. The place where I live now, there's sort of two or three bedroom houses which cost around, uh, what were they, like, I think 50 or uh, 500 or 600,000 RMB, which is around 50,000 to 60,000 pounds, uh, which is, uh, I don't know, I think that's maybe 70 or 80,000 uh, dollars, maybe? So 50,000 50, to 60,000 pounds. Um, but the problem is in China they require a 30% deposit, uh, so you have to have that money down first like most countries. But in England it's only 5%, but here it's 30%, so I need to get hold of um, uh, what is 30% of like 500,000, uh, I can't think, it's 50, 150,000 RMB, which is 15,000 pounds, which is around 22, 23,000 uh, dollars, just to put money down on a house and then you know, obviously that's that's your thirty percent paid, and the, the you get the mortgage for the rest or whatever. So it's a big problem, and the 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 issue here, as I said on my video yesterday, is I do want to buy a house. Uh, I'll show you this town here whilst I'm stopped at the lights. Uh, I do want to buy a house, uh, but the problem is that um, the the uh, the place where I'm at now is pretty boring and it's not where I want to live. I want to live back in Shanghai. That's the issue, actually buying it. You can't see much here, I'm sorry guys, we're, we're stuck at lights. Um, but it's a big, big problem and it's a big problem not just for me, but it's also, um, it's, a, it's a huge problem in China. I'll give you an example. Uh, I cannot believe the fucking house prices here. It is ridiculous and I think it's a worldwide problem at the moment. Um, buying a house um, is the world's fucking just, biggest pain in the ass for everyone uh, and in fact I, I heard recently that, that, that the word mortgage comes from the French word like mortier or something like that and it means loan until death that's what I heard I heard that from I think it was Robert Kiyosaki mentioned that oh shit am I in the wrong lane e bollocks e okay crap and uh, in, if so in Shanghai for example the house prices are ridiculous like okay I was renting an apartment before I came here to this uh, before I came to South China and it the rent cost me um, what was it the last payment the last year was 6,000 RMB that's 600 pounds a month and then it jumped to 700 pounds a month for the last two months because we switched landlords for just two months and he said he was gonna be charged after after we left he was gonna be charging 800 pounds a month that's around twelve hundred dollars a month in china fucking hell like anybody's salary in china like the mass 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 majority of people in china 
do not have like 8,000 RMB spare, like per month, 800 pounds a month, not, not a chance. Uh, so that's a really big amount of money and uh, this, this apartment was nice, no doubt, um, but it wasn't like a downtown middle uh, center road apartment. It was a little bit out from the center, uh, but still really nice and, and a new apartment. It had only just been finished. Uh, but to buy that apartment, get this, was like, fucking hell. I, I, I think the lady said something like um, three or four million RMB. So 300 to 400,000 pounds for this two bedroom apartment that, that is in a, a central area, but it's not in the middle, middle of Shanghai. And that's just out of this world to think that somebody can pay that. Um, and the rent, the rent to, to cost prices in, in, in Shanghai were crazy. And I get this, okay. My, um, uh, I spoke to my sister and my brother-in-law recently and they, they bought a house and the, I think the house, I can't remember what it was, but anyway, we we're talking generally about house prices. And we said, if you buy a house in England for a hundred thousand pounds, you can rent it for 500 pounds a month or maybe more. It might be a thousand pounds a month. Okay. Now, okay, so buying it for a hundred thousand and let's say renting it for a thousand, just just for example, okay. But in China, in Shanghai, you'd have to you buy it for four hundred thousand, okay. So four times the price, but you could, you were only renting it for around one thousand pounds. Those are both in pounds. So the cost is four times as much, but the rent is still the same. In fact, it's probably less. Um, so it didn't make sense from a buyer's perspective, you know what I mean? Um, in that situation, if you could choose from the two, obviously you choose the, buying the 100,000 because the rent, you could make more, uh, as a percentage, the rent would be higher. So it's really weird, the house prices, I don't know how anyone can afford it here. Generally in China, what happens is the family already owns the house um, and that's one way that they do it. The other way that they, do buy a house for a new, a newly married couple is that both parents, uh, wrong line, that both parents on both sides of the family and both grandparents will often put money in to buy a house. That's how much of a fucking strain it is to buy a property. And I think it's, it just boggles my mind that in the world uh, now, buying a house uh, in a lot of countries, just the place where you live, you know what I mean? Just. The, the, like one of the basic necessities of life is such a big struggle and it's uh, actually getting it is a struggle and then paying it off until you die is a struggle so it's just a weird weird thing so uh, hopefully i'll get there this is my wife calling now anyway guys i'm gonna go let me know what you think about this video i'm gonna do another one soon bye bye